Hey, believers. Hey, Israel. J.D. Niger. Word of truth. Jeff Deloach. Bible teaching with Jeff Deloach. Jeff Deloach. Huntington Beach, California. World famous surf city. Bolsa Chica wetlands over there. With the cars flying by on PCH. All praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, bless my brothers and sisters. Give us peace in these days. Give us the ability to turn away from the wickedness of this world and to walk in brotherly love. Amen. Uh, eh. Good enough. All right. So I looked up a couple scriptures. Um, I'm still on this page that I opened to earlier, Hebrews. The Lord is my helper. The Lord is my helper. And I will not fear what man shall do unto me. So we're not supposed to be afraid. You know, everyone's all, oh, I'm afraid of the chip. I'm afraid of disease X. I'm afraid that I took that jab and it's going to give me a heart attack. And just know that it could have been all just, who knows what they're doing? Who the fuck cares? You're trying to you're trying to stay alive in this world so you can take care of your family. You're trying to stay alive in this world so you can spread the word. The Lord's keeping you alive so you can be a light in the world. Um, let brotherly love continue. For we say boldly, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man can do to me. Remember them which have the rule over you have spoken unto you the word of God. You guys that are listening, I hate to say it, but um, when the time comes, you're gonna hear my <laughs> you're gonna hear my voice telling you things. You want you few people that actually trust me and listen to me. When the when these hard times come, you're gonna hear me in your ear going. It's okay, you got it. And then you're going to hear the Lord right behind me going, "Thanks for hearing my servant. I'm telling you these things are going to these things are going to be miraculous for a lot of people. When it comes right down to the end, you're going to hear things and see things that are going to build up your faith and you're going to go, "This is cool. God's on my side." Remember them which have the rule over you who have spoken unto you the word of truth, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation. So I'm going to go into this real quick. I always tell you guys, the Bible is almost like meant to be read from Revelation to, the, to Genesis. Time is not... Time is... <laughs> Time is not. We're all hung up on time. I just keep that shit off my mind. Um, it's already everything's already been told. That's why we don't believe in works. You're gonna do what you're gonna do. And if you do something strange that you didn't realize you were gonna do, try and figure out why you think the Lord had you do that. Because he made you do it. No one no one else. There's only one God. And he's everything you do, everything everyone does. And I think that's why I'm feeling dingy. And doing is really weird. Like, I'm afraid I'm going to lock my keys in my car. I'm afraid I'm going to run a stoplight. I'm, I'm afraid I'm not going to pay attention to what I should be doing. I feel like I'm losing control of my ability to be the agent over my own movement and things like that. It's really strange. It's a dinginess. It's uh, distressing. But anyhow, um, Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, and forever. That's the verse. 
that makes you realize time is not is not is not it's not it's not um by him therefore let us offer this is we're in Hebrews by the way 13:15 by him therefore let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually that is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name what's his name it's a reputation it's not Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai these guys that are trying to tell you that the name of the Lord that he has some name that we need to speak if they believe that good for them but when it says his name that's his that means his reputation what's his reputation his reputation is he's going to do whatever he does and you better hope he's on your side that's why you speak continually you praise God continually with the fruit of your lips, giving thanks to his name, giving thanks to his reputation. He's, his reputation is that he loves you. But do good and to communicate, forget not, for which such sacrifice God is well pleased. Talk about him. Talk to him. We praise you, Heavenly Father. We honor you. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. He loves when you talk to him. Obey the, your rulers. Hebrews 13, 17. Who are your rulers? Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls as they that must give account, that they may do with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. That's why I tell you, when you're on this channel, you're blessed. I know that. I know that. The tongue has the power of blessings and cursings. Pray for us, for we trust we have a good conscience in all things, willing to live honestly. Like I say over and over again, tell the truth, be honest. Fuck these liars. Fuck them. Hate them. If people are saying bullshit and talking lies, no matter how hard it is, you got to cut them off. But I beseech you the rather to do this that I may be restored to you the sooner. I make you... I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to go into these other scriptures. The, you get the idea. Speak truth. Speak honestly. Um, speak good over people. That was awesome. Good work. You're doing fine. You'll be able to do it. The Lord be with you. Bless you. It'll work out. Right? So in the last video, I was talking about this video from Truth Stream Media. Pretty good channel. They don't do enough videos, but the ones they do are like, they make a point on something. And she was talking this morning about voodoo, how words can create pictures in your mind. And I learned this in my church. Um, I forgot which scriptures talk about that. Really good teaching about what you imagine, what you envision. It's kind of esoteric. What you believe will come true, kind of like the secret. The secret is to keep your mind on things that are good, like it says in Philippians 4.8. Keep your mind on things that are good, things that are pure, things that are real, things that are sweet, things that are edifying, lovely, right? And so when you do that, when you send that good energy, good things happen. But when you're a liar, some of these liars have been able to, these narcissists have been able to create worldly things. Because the devil goes, yeah, way to lie, way to, they get rewarded in, on this earth. 
Liars, deceivers, cheaters, Donald Trump types, politicians are a good example of it. Um, car salesmen, real estate agents, these people that use deception to um, make money. <coughs> they, uh, the devil rewards them, but they're going to have a price to pay. And so I see that in my own life. My ex-wife, um, poor thing, was molested when she was a child. And um, she's insane. She's, she's filled with demons. And um, her two children from other men, not my daughter, but from her, but her two other daughters, um, the demons are jumping on them now. The chickens are coming home to roost. And I, I don't want to really talk about too much personal stuff, but um, I see in these days some of these people that have um, been getting away with creating havoc in my life and hurting me and hurting people I loved. Judgment's coming down on these people. It's, um, I tried to warn them long ago. And I'm trying to warn people now, still. Be careful. Be careful who you fuck with. Be careful how you move. It's not, it's not the great things that you do. As far as this world that are that the Lord likes, He just doesn't want you to do bad things, wicked things, sad, awful things, because He has a plan. The prophecy of the two witnesses. I was talking about this in the last video. <clears throat> it's a uh, Revelation eleven one, and I'll read through it, and you can get an idea of what's going on right now <clears throat> and there was given me a reed like unto a rod and the angel stood saying rise get up Benjamin and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship therein but the court which is without the temple leave out and measure it not for it is given unto the Gentiles and the holy city shall tread underfoot and the holy city shall they tread underfoot forty and two months. <coughs> I um I got put on lisinopril, and they said it might <clears throat> might make you cough. <clears throat> I've only been taking it two days, and I'm already starting to cough. <coughs> What kind of drug? That's why I didn't want to get on blood pressure medicine. The side effects. Who knows what the side effects of lowering your blood pressure is. I'm, who says blood pressure, high blood pressure is going to kill you anyway? I don't know if, it, if it's true. They might, they might be lying. <clears throat> but anyway, so what's it mean by <clears throat> measure not the court outside the temple? I tell you guys this all the time. These are the things that I have in my spirit. They're out They're outside the holiness. They're, these beasts are outside the temple. They're running wild in the streets. Wild in the streets. Running, running. Wild in the streets. Running. Running. Circle jerks. 1979. <laughs> Wild in the streets. <laughs> that was a good one. Running. Running. We used to mosh to that shit pretty hard. But the court which is without the temple leave out and measure it not for it is given unto the Gentiles. This place, 
That's what that's what people don't understand. The Gentiles, the um, the heathen, the beasts are running this place. Let me continue. For the holy city shall be tread down underfoot forty and two days, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days, clothed in sackcloth. Who are the two witnesses? Basically, Joseph and Benjamin, but literally. Um, the oppressed, the Israelites, the sons of Jacob, were distressed, were under tribulation. Tony Williams, you dumb motherfucker. Still won't. Tony Williams still won't tell us he's not a bot. It'd be good if you guys could go over to his channel and start asking him, are you a bot? All right, we need to mess with this guy. This guy's messing with us. All right, this is a war. This isn't sit on your hands and put your finger up your ass. <clears throat> Get busy. They will prophesy. I will give them power. Man, power. I will give unto our two witnesses. <clears throat> give what? These are the two olive trees, the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. <clears throat> what What's an olive tree give? Oil. They're anointed. Who's, who's the two most anointed? There's a lot of very anointed. There's Enoch. There's um, Elijah went up without even... Moses, <clears throat> the Lord buried him. We don't know where, what happened to his body. Um, but it's it's an idea of the two pillars, um, Jachin and Boaz at the entrance to the temple. Justice and justice and righteousness, I think. Jachin and Boaz, maybe. Um, Lampstands, they're the two lampstands, they're the two bright, shining. If any man will hurt them, fire proceeds out of their mouth and devours their enemies. Does that mean literal fire is going to come out of their mouth? No, it's what I'm doing. When I say fuck GMS, fuck Tony Williams, that's fire. I'm not afraid to say these guys are going to get punished. The words I speak have power. So what's going on? Pe people like me that actually have an anointing are, are talking shit on all these wicked motherfuckers, man. Without, without any concern. I'm not concerned about how I, I, I... I've been told to do this. Tell them. Speak boldly. If any man will hurt them, fire proceeds out of their mouth and devours their enemies. And any man will, if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be hurt. These have the power to shut up heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with plagues and often as they will. <laughs> What's going on? The people of the Lord, the true anointed people, are bringing down this place that's why I was saying in the last video don't worry about the plagues it's the plan get right with God and be covered get on the right side of the fence power to shut up heaven authority so what you're going to see what people are going to start seeing is a big difference between the wheat and the tares. The wheat, <clears throat> the powerful people of God are going to start laying down the law. Yep, yep, yepers. 
go to Luke. I wanted to. Sh this is the other one. I'm just gonna do two today. <clears throat> I'm gonna go get some blood work done. So I haven't had any alcohol for a couple weeks now. I had a little bit, but. Um, <clears throat> I'm basically literally cleaning out my system right now and uh, that might be why I'm a little off. I'm getting tight from not having my alcohol. <clears throat> Luke 21, 25 through 27. Take heed and watch. Tony Williams totally fucks this one up. Take heed and watch, Luke 21, 20. And when you shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then you will know that the desolation thereof is nigh. <clears throat> it's coming down, folks. Bob Marley movie, Benjamin, Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Ephrata. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein. <coughs> Tony Williams thinks this means Israel. Oh, those people are going to have to, they're going to be chased out of they're going to be chased out of Israel. They're going to have to run to the mountains of Judea. You fucking dumbass. <clears throat> that means <clears throat> the people of the Lord aren't going to have <sighs> they're going to have to hide their nationality they're going to have to at some point <clears throat> going to have to hide myself and say I'm just a Christian and <clears throat> are you a Jew? <clears throat> I don't know am I? just like Jesus did am I? Do you say I am? What do you, who do you say I am? <clears throat> You're gonna. They're gonna have to. <clears throat> this means they're gonna have to. <coughs> fuck that lisinopril's. Probably, I'm probably gonna have to get off it. If anyone has reactions that people have to to certain drugs, I usually have it. <clears throat> um, and let them which are in the midst of it to part out and let not them that are in the countries there enter therein. <clears throat> There's going to come a time <clears throat> when all these people that are going, these GMS idiots, I'm an Israelite. I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew. I'm a real Jew. I'm a, I'm a black Hebrew Israelite. They're going to wish they never said that, especially if they're not. Because those guys, they're going to believe those guys. They're going to go, nope, you said you are. We know you are. And they're going to have to get taken out for claiming it. They're going to have problems with that. The Lord said he doesn't like the people that say they're Jews that aren't. So what, what, what this is saying is we're going to find out who the real weed are and who the real tares are. Who the leaders are, who the rulers are. We're going to find out during this time. Take heed and watch, watch, watch what I say. And these be the days of vengeance, 
that all things which are written may be fulfilled. What days are that? All these days. It's happening right now. Everyone, everything is being recorded. Everything's being watched. Everything is as it's supposed to be. Everything's exactly how it's supposed to be. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Man, I'd love to go into that. All things which are written may be fulfilled. Uh, Isaiah 63, 4. Maybe I'll do three. This is interesting. We're getting into... We're getting into prophetic stuff now, huh? A little bit more than usual. Isaiah 60. Sorry. 63, 4. All things will be. How's he say it? All things which are written may be fulfilled. Bible guy. 63. Sorry. Messed it up again. 63, 4. Ugh, hard to find. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. You understand? It's time to separate the wheat from the tares. It, it has been that way ever since Jesus got on the cross. He's like, these fucking enemies, man. It's time to shut these fuckers down. And so this time has gone on. These devils have been loosed for a short time. And we're in the midst of it. As always, as, as it's always been. And the year of my redeemed has come. And I looked and there was none to help. And I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, mine own arm brought salvation Unto me and my fury, it upheld me. My fury, my fucking anger. My my own strong arm, my own strong belief, my own spirit. Get your vibration up. That's what he's saying right there. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury, it upheld me. And I will tread down the people of mine anger and make them drunk in my fury and I will bring down their strength to the earth. P. Ode. I have trodden down the winepress alone. That's, that's Jesus telling Isaiah. Who is he that comes from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? He had dyed with blood. Tony, you're in trouble, bro. You're not thinking straight. Um, let's go over here real quick, and then I'll come back to where we were, because this is interesting. And Jesus answered unto them, The children of this world marry and are given to marriage, but they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain the world... The cosmos, those who are worthy, those who have authority, and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage. <laughs> Who's that? Those are the Benjamites, the, the hierarchy of the fallen angels. Our wives were all killed in the Civil War. Judah, Judah came in and slaughtered our whole tribe. So when we mar when we have children out here, we're having our children onto God. We're not we're not married to anyone but God. My children are all from God. They're not from those wicked bitches. Those liars. He took he took a remnant. He took a remnant through my through my seed to redeem part of the part of them 
because they're not going to make it probably they're liars they're deceivers neither can they die anymore for they are equal unto the angels and are the children of God being the children of the resurrection now that the dead are raised even Moses showed at the bush when he called the Lord the God of Abraham the God of Isaac the God of Jacob for he is not the God of the dead but of the living for all live unto him what's that the dead in Christ will rise first And then, and then the ones that remain on the earth that are, that are not in Christ will be ripped out, will be plucked up, will be violently harvested, Tony Williams, you fucking knucklehead, you people, man. You got to get over to his channel and, and try and help this brother because all he's doing is taking some of our brothers and sisters into the pit. It's not cool. This is this is the way, this is the truth. Why does he say that? He says the dead in Christ will rise first. That's the living. That's the ones like me that are not married to this fucked up place. Let me see what I got. <laughs> 